I want to be the first Irish person to fucking leave the atmosphere and land on that big wheel of cheese. Do you know why? Because there's so many firsts that Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong didn't fucking do, in no particular order. Setting up an Olympics and winning everything and then gloating back down to earth saying, did you fucking see that? Because if you think about it, if you're fucking javelin, you hop it through the air, it's going to keep going, possibly into space forever. But the thing is, as long as you had no competition, you were guaranteed every Guinness Moon world record would belong to you. You'd be the first man to eat barn brack and have a wank at the same time. The first man to make government buildings there form a government with just me and then fall out with myself in protest. Then I become a judge and give myself all the sentences that no man's ever received on the moon. I'd litter and then find myself. I'd try and murder something, probably a rock, smash it to bits, give myself life in prison on the moon. Then I could let myself off death row if I fucking broke up my own spaceship, therefore killing myself because I couldn't get home. Could be the first person to ever grab a megaphone and shout, I'm ready now you fuck, out into space. Saying this is my planet. I run the show now. I built a little, collapse it with a digger. Elon Musk and me are gonna have words. I know Elon uh, through YouTube. He has enough money to get me set up in space. I'll make it up to him. I'll be the first reality TV show fucking person up there and I'll run it and produce it and direct it and beam it back down to him. I'll be the first man to die on the moon unless Musk comes up in a Tesla and drives me home. It's not that far actually. If I had a top 10, number 10, I'd like to be the first person to train a dog on the moon. In a space sir? Yeah, of course in a space suit, where you think I'm fucking just dragging this corpse around, floating through the air. He'd have air too, you fucking monster. Because the moon can be stressful, number 9 is important. I will be the first man to smuggle drugs across the border onto the moon. Because going up in that spaceship, the thing would be full of drugs. I'd have 85 weed seeds, loads of varieties. I'd have 80 kilos of weed with me just to keep me tidied over. I'd have 160 kilos of hash because it burns better on the moon. I'd also have about 15 kilos of MDMA for birthdays, special occasions or reading. Bring speed with me. 8 kilos of fucking white china heroin just for the sad days. Say someone else moves onto the moon and their neighbours and they just make loads of noise and they're uh, rattled. Which brings me to number 8. I want to be the first person to make an air conditioning unit on the moon. Out of a Tesla. And on those days, the sun is baking that lunar fucking soil into my eyes. Sit back and drink a jolt cola. Which actually brings me on to my next thing. What's that? Number seven are we on? I want to be the first man to listen to Phil Collins and then Rod Stewart's greatest hits on a disc man on the moon and smash them to fucking bits afterwards. So I'm left musicless. But at least I won't have to listen to that. What would you listen to? Ah, if I was on the moon, moon island discs, let me see, are probably top three. I definitely have a Genesis album with me. And the Small Faces, Rod Stewart and Phil Collins, not in those two respective bands. Yeah. Actually, no, I wouldn't bring any of that. I'd probably bring some soy trance, probably suit up there. Maybe some 1920s Irish traditional music recorded on a stick of celery. Number six. I would like to build two franchises on the moon, a la McDonald's, Burger King, Pepsi, Coke kind of a deal, and uh, have a huge rivalry up there. So basically I have one Burger King, I'm going to start that way, one McDonald's. McDonald's sells Coke, Burger King sells Pepsi. That's where I'm going to run it. So I'm going to be the manager, yeah, the delivery man, the bouncer for a fucking Burger King anyway, the guy who cleans the floors, the guy who serves the food, the customer, more importantly, and uh, the guy who grows all the beef and the salad and the potatoes to actually make the food. I'm also going to be the builder. So that's a big one. It's a big project. Amazing. Number five. I want to run against myself for the presidency. And then I'm going to have a genocide and have to hide from myself out in the fucking space caverns. Sound like a man gone schizophrenic. No. And if anyone ever asks you that, you hear voices in your head. Whatever you answer, a voice told you to answer. Don't forget that. So number four, I'd like to bring Abba up and uh, just give them enough air to do their greatest hits. Be the first UFC champion on the moon. And if anyone wants to take my fucking belt, they can come up and take it off me. I'll be the lad waiting, punching rocks into the ground, growing celery. I'll have every Olympic record. I'm gonna go through every Guinness World Record. I'll have longest fingernails, widest dick, fluffiest hair, 
And if Buzz and Neil want to come back, I'll take their records too. They're older people living who've been on the moon. And they were there first. But who cares? They didn't exploit it. Okay, number two, I'm going to build a resort on the moon that's Little Earth. And on Little Earth, I'm going to make all my favourite places, friends, families, and everything else I loved out of rocks. And I'm going to sit amongst it just to light it. And for that, I'm going to need, number one, I'm going to be the guy to set up Moon Book. Exactly like Facebook, except everything's on the moon. So anyone I know on the moon will just link in to me. We can hang out, or I'll just add you and ignore you if I don't like you. But being Emperor of the Moon is my goal. That's why I'm here. And what you say to the fucking now says? Well, there's a song. Please say goodbye, I'll be gone real soon. Set every record on the fucking moon. Give away to my sack, what a lick in my crack. I'm gone to the moon, never coming back. I might bring Bear Grylls up with me and tell him that he's got a hotel that I've made and send him pictures and then uh, make him sleep rough. See if he likes drinking his own piss through a helmet. At the end, I'm gonna be in a wheelchair, speaking through like Stephen Hawkins. Just see how he felt like fucking. And I won't even need the chair. I'll just sit in it anyway, and I'll still be able to speak, but I won't. It's still just going to be me and the fucking moon. I might even write tight list on it for a big gag down on earth. Or I might even try and hang long streams of black thread off the moon so it looks like a hairy ball. Thanks for the interview.